Yo, what's happening campers? Welcome to your first lesson of the best Node.js tutorial series on the planet. Okay then, so you may have heard of Node.js. Everyone's using it and it's really popular at the minute. So what do you do? You head to the Node.js website and you think, I'm going to learn this. But then you're faced with this paragraph right here. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. Node.js uses an event-driven non-blocking model that makes yada, 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 yada. Okay, this makes no sense whatsoever. This isn't exactly the most user-friendly or beginner-friendly paragraph to place on the front page of your website. So, to break it down, Node.js actually is a platform which allows us to run JavaScript on a computer or a server. And that, my friends, is immensely cool. Because if we want to create a full web application ourselves, we no longer have to learn additional programming languages to run on the server like PHP or Ruby. We can just do it all in JavaScript via Node.js. So that means that Node.js gives us the ability to read, delete, update files, easily communicate with the database, plus all the other things you would expect of a server-side language. And we're going to take a look at those in this tutorial. So why would you want to use Node.js? Well, it's insanely popular because first of all it uses JavaScript so there's no need to learn another programming language to do your server-side code on. It's very fast and that's because it runs on the V8 engine and uses non-blocking code and we're going to take a look at that in later tutorials. It's got a huge ecosystem of open source packages which we can install in our projects via the node package manager and it's also great for real-time services like chat rooms um, that's because we can utilize something called WebSockets. So we're going to take a look at all this and more in this tutorial. And here's a breakdown of what we will be learning. So I've gone ahead and split this tutorial series into three sections. The first section is all going to be about the inner workings of Node.js. We're going to look at the VA engine, modules, the event emitter, the file system, and we're going to look under the hood, see how it all connects together and works. Because I think when you're learning Node.js, it benefits you greatly to know the inner workings of Node.js a little bit so you know what's going on. Then the second section is all going to be about creating a web server routing. We're going to take a look at Express, which is a very popular node package and templating. And then the third section, we're going to create a Node.js application from scratch and it's going to be a to do app. All right then guys, so this is what we're going to be aiming towards at the end of this tutorial series. We're going to go ahead and create this to-do application. So this is a quick sneak preview and we can basically add things to this list. I'll say take a nap, that's always a good idea. Then we can add them and we can also delete them if we click on them. So we're going to be creating this application towards the end of this tutorial series. We're going to learn a lot more about Node.js first of all. Uh, secondly, Atom is the text editor I'm going to be using for this tutorial playlist. It's on the left over here and it's really cool and it's free. So if you want it, just head over to atom.io and download it. And by the way, a lot of people have asked me which uh, theme I use for Atom. And for the UI theme, I use something called Monokai Tweaked. And for the syntax theme, I use Atom Monokai. And it does look quite nice. Okay, so finally, I want to show you my GitHub page, and I've created a repository for this playlist, which is going to contain some assets for our final to-do list application. So all it has in it really is an image, uh, some styles, and some JavaScript for the front end. So if you want to go ahead and download that, you can do, um, or maybe just leave it and then download it towards the end of this tutorial series. Either way, it's there if you want it. And finally, just a little bit about what you need to know before starting this playlist, ideally. The first one is JavaScript. That's essential because we are going to be using JavaScript on Node.js. That's what it's all about. The second one is HTML, and that's more for later on in the course when we're going to be templating and creating a bit of a front end for our Node.js application. And then finally, just a tiny bit about the command line. Um, you don't need to know much, and to be honest, you can get away with not knowing anything. I'm going to show you all of the commands you're going to be using uh, and they're going to be minimal. So there we go, guys. That is your brief introduction to Node.js. Um, I hope you enjoy this playlist, and I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial where we're going to go ahead and download it to our computer.